Okay, everyone, this is Audit Meter with an update. I am actually fixing up Super Fighter. It works now. I am a Super Fighter. Cross it. Don't move. But, besides that, of course, the, the armors, the chromey armors, have been cleaned. And the arm as well, so that's... I'm going forward with that. But I decided to make a little pause and do the, the, the electronic diagram of it and at the same time show you people how to do a diagram even though I know much people, a lot of people here should actually know how to but you know just for the forsaken of it because I know that some people were like impressed by the fact that I actually do care about the robots and make like diagrams and everything. So technically what you got to do on a diagram is first of all draw the board of course yeah um super fighter 15 wang kuang 1996 Okay, so that's pretty much to know where the fuck it comes from. So, number one, of course, you gotta make a, like a little diagram um, showing everything like from the from the board. By example, the contacts, the yeah, the contacts, which are these. Uh, then, of course, we've got these two, which are pretty much for screws, which I usually mark them with a little screw sign, like this. And then you have the actual used contacts, which are here. Now on this one, we do have a couple that are underneath, which I'm going to show. So here's pretty much the overview of the board. As you can see, it's what I try showing here. Now, usually if the board is little, I do show like I do put all the connections and everything. But in this one, I doubt it's actually necessary. But yeah, now what I got to do is I got to check on the on the back which are the wires that are connected to certain spots. By example, right here, where the P is, there's nothing. There's just the positive of a capacitor. But on that little trace that's next to it, this one, right there, there seems to be wires connected. So I'm going to pause the video and show it. Never mind, to the actual P there is a wire I think it's a gray wire that goes to the relay, I think, right there, the P. So it is the walking part of the relay. So technically the P goes there and um, the other one, as I see right now, actually does go to that one trace that I spoke about, but the blue wire. What does the blue wire? I think it's a relay part as well. Yes, yes, it actually is the highest part of the relay the one that the one that makes it say i am a super fighter drop it don't move or make shooting sounds and of course where's that one white wire that this one okay so it's around it's kind of hard to tell when they put hot glue on it so i'm just trying to do it by eye then i'm gonna try to oh, okay 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 yeah, it is right here. Let me just point it out. Wait, shit. Right there on this one. So that is like shit. That is like the the one that touches both contacts to make it either walk or turn. And as far as I can see, by the way it's set up and the components are, there's a Zener diode right here. Let me see what... Uh, Polarity it has. Polarity, I mean. As I can probably tell. I'm a little bad with uh, Zener diodes. I don't know why. Because I never know which is the positive and which is the negative. But I assume. I assume that the little black line is negative. I think. So, technically. Technically, it's a negative... Uh, it's a negative contact, the one that touches the uh, thing, so the other two are positive contacts. Now, 
Here we have a few others. We've got a black wire that goes straight to the head. It must be to the face LED. And we got a white wire and a, and a black wire that go to the chest. So it must be some sort of negative if I'm not wrong. Let me just check if there's any indication of it. There's a, there's a transistor amplifying the signal, so it's pretty much. But I need to find something that tells me that this is the negative. Um, no, it doesn't have any real... Oh, yes, it actually does have a relationship within the capacitor. So, yes, it is the negative, and the trace goes all the way around the board to this spot. So it is confirmed. These are, these are the negative uh, light wires. Now, the positive light wires then will go to here. But now, here's my question, though. What? Oh, ah, now I understand it. So, let me get this straight. There's those two wires. That yellow wire is the... Um, you got me there. What is that one? Because there's, the there's the black wire. No, wait, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wrong yellow wire. That yellow wire goes to the head. Okay, yeah, because, because both yellow wires were for the speaker, so... Oh yes, this is the main positive. There's a red wire that goes to here, and there's a, a yellow wire that goes to the head for the positive of the speaker. Then that is the... Because in some robots, mainly Happy Kid, they do have the positive connected straight to the speaker, just to let you know. So yeah, now yeah, so pretty much, I'm sorry about this, but now I can actually make sure that this is the positive and the other one is the negative, the other um, prawn of the of the trend of the Zener diode. So that's that's good. So um, this right here, okay, okay. Now I understand it. This is um, this has a resistor because the LEDs would burn out then to the head, to the headlight, and to one of the chest lights, which I assume it'll be this one, the the LED for the chest. Because the chest has an LED, but in here it doesn't. In here it has a bulb instead. I don't know if you guys can watch it. But you can tell by the brightness it has. It's a bulb. It's a regular glass light bulb. So yeah. So pretty much that is a... Um, that resistor is just, you know, preventing the LEDs from burning out. So we have two LEDs and we have two bulbs. Which of course, if anybody doesn't know, there's a fourth light, which is the one that goes connected to here. Which, by the way, I'm going to actually tell this right now. There's a gun light, of course. There's a gun that's supposed to be connected to here. And this one has a particularly different mod, different design from many others. Because my robot sergeant, he never had these contacts. And instead, it had wires that just went through it. On this one, they put some little contacts that touch this. You know, just to make it a, to to give it a lot, a lot more realism, they they give it contact so that when it goes all the way up, it touches the 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 two tins and it actually lights up. That's a pretty nice thing that one Kwon were well happy kid made back then. So yeah, then I then I assume these are the bulb lights. So this this is the actual chest light maybe. Let's see like the uh, the screen because the wire goes there there yeah yeah that's the positive of the of the bulb and then here the positive for the hand which I cut same in here this is the then this is the main negative of all the lights because I actually cut the the gun light from here as well so other than that on the bottom like on the on the lower part we've got uh, the speaker goes to the Again, the tip of another transistor that's um, around here, the yellow wire, and they both go to the head tangled up with the ones from the light. Then the motor, of course, it's a complete different thing here. The, as I've said before, the chip, in, in these robots, usually the chip operates something and the motor is a complete different thing. Um, but in the newer ones, by example, the turbo fighters, the super fighters from 2002, they, from like, from the ones that they, they do right now, the board controls everything. On these older ones, the motor is continuous. 
so it does have the actual battery trick where if you remove one battery it only will move um, the only thing that makes it change the sounds is literally the relay which when the robot is walking it touches this one and it makes the robot make stomping sounds don't know if you guys can see it I don't know, my camera is being silly fucking piece of shit fucking piece of shit, you gotta be fucking kidding me there we go the bottom contact and the middle contact touch and the robot makes stomping sounds now when the, when the thing goes up for the first time and it touches this one it touches it for a little while and then when the robot's body gets to the middle again it drops and it goes up again that's when the robot changes sound that's why the robot when it goes to one side it says I am a super fighter drop it don't move and then when it goes to the middle it's shut and then it goes to the other side just shooting pretty much it's like this I am a super fighter drop it don't move drop and there you have it now, I'll say a few things that I actually am speechless about because there's some really nice things into this robot. That by example, the speaker is actually a huge one and this is the old speaker. I might put it back again, it's a little muffled, but I actually put a slight replacement right now, which is a, uh, a, it's the same size and everything, but it's just like a little flatter. Anyway, I'll try with another speaker though, because I might actually find a louder speaker or something. Because with this one, it actually sounds a lot more clear. Now, back on the... Let me just... Yeah. Back on the on the diagramming, that was the main point of this video. So right now that we know about how the things tend to go, what we got to do is just put something like light, light less than hand and, um, and screen positive and then face... Scanner, you can call it scanner, positive. Then of course here there's a screw, there's a screw, um, lights, all the lights are like the main, main light negative. Then down here of course, um, there's that one speaker wire. No, no, wrong, wrong, fucking wrong, fucking wrong. This is the main... No, actually, it's right. Never mind. It's it's right. It's right. I, I I was wrong. Now, of course, these two are connected by one resistor, so the wire attaches to this one. So this means that it's positive, like you no know, VDD. And at the same time, there's a speaker. So that's first of all, I do this like that. Then I just then I just put it on marker. Um, what else? Of course, up there. There's this little contact, uh, there's like a point contact where I see there's a black wire that if I'm not wrong, it goes to the negative, so that is actually the negative. There's a little point here and that's the negative of the robot. Um, and then, uh, huh. Okay, so there's a little, a little like oval contact right here and that one has two wire, well, well, wait, one wire, sorry. And that one is the speaker negative. Great. Now, I'm going to make a little diagram of how the batteries go, just so that I don't get lost. Because doing the battery trick, it is simple, but in this case, I want to have a little, you know, I want to know everything. So, let me get this shit straight. Um, wow. Wait a sec. Does it work with three or with four batteries? Well, you got me there, actually. Hold on. I'm gonna see if it actually works with three or four, because I think it should work with with three with three double E batteries. But that's one thing. Now it should. No wait, now it's it's not even working. Never mind. It was the other battery then that you gotta take out for the battery trick. There we go. As you can see right now, it's turning from side to side. But what about if I take this one out? Because it seems like these two are the ones, but I could be wrong. I doubt it though. 
Oh my god! Okay, okay, so... I, I was wrong. I, I was absolutely wrong. So technically... Technically what we see right here is that the motor is only powered by two AA batteries. Wow. Well then, that's, that's a nice discovery. So going back with the diagram then, we have the middle contact and we have... I believe that was positive, no? Yes, it was positive. It was positive. So this one's positive. Um, this one's negative. So pretty much the negative goes to the chip. The positive, well not the positive, but the intermediate contact as I call it. That is for 3 volts. There's uh, this, there's this. Just, just to let you all know, I'm just doing the little... No. Yeah, like that. Um, so basically this, this middle contact is, yes, it is actually the positive, the, wait, positive or negative? Because we got that one. No, it's the negative, never mind. So this one goes to motor, and at the same time it goes to the switch. Actually, that one goes to the, no. Yes, it does, it does. It does, it does go to this side of the switch, which is, which is the sound side, and then here we got the switch, the, the circuit, I mean, the, uh, the positive for the circuit board. Then this right here goes to this one. This one literally goes in here because it's the negative of the motor. This is what we can call the three volt negative. Then we have the motor, the negative of the motor. Uh-huh. So yeah, that was just a sneak peek of how, like not a sneak peek, but like a little demonstration of how to do a, a wire diagram. Mainly I can't do it totally right now because I got to take the robot apart entirely and that will take me a little bit more than, it'll be, it will, it'll be a few minutes, but in all honesty, I just want to do it alone because when I do things without recording, I am a lot more relaxed and shit, you know, some people might actually understand me on this, but I'm going to, I'm going to finish this, um, this diagram, pass it on marker, and then I'm going to probably show it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.